Everyone's back here with TLP News. Well, the story of the human landing system contract keeps getting more interesting, it seems like, every day. So here's a quick update on a few things that have happened in the last couple of weeks. First, on May 4th, a new financial document was published on the United States' federal government website that reveals that the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center awarded SpaceX a contract with a value of $50.45 million as part of the HLS contract for a Starship orbital refueling demonstration. This contract is specifically for an on-orbit, large-scale cryogenic propellant management and transfer demonstration that is set to be completed by the end of 2022. Under the contract, SpaceX will demonstrate how the methane-fueled Starship launch system is capable of being refueled in low Earth orbit. The company aims to refuel the spacecraft connected back-to-back -to, -back to another Starship that will carry propellant. SpaceX will conduct a large-scale flight demonstration to transfer 10 metric tons of cryogenically cooled propellant, specifically liquid oxygen, between tanks on a Starship vehicle to complete this contract. So, though the full HLS contract has been paused for now, SpaceX and NASA are still working towards a future with Starship. And on May 12th, a Senate committee approved a new NASA Authorization Act as part of the larger Endless Frontier Act that is set to increase the government's investment in research, development, and manufacturing. The NASA portion builds on the past Senate's bill that was passed last year, and it basically doubles down and forces NASA to select two human landing system contracts, not just the one, which is what NASA originally wanted to do. But they could only pick one because Congress drastically cut their funding for fiscal year 2021. The 2021 NASA Authorization Act is part of an amendment sponsored by Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington, who is a representative from the state of Blue Origin, Amazon, and Jeff Bezos. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, Senator Bernie Sanders thinks so, but we'll get into that in a minute. This authorization bill demands that NASA make their decision for a second contract within just 30 days. If NASA were to do so, Congress would then authorize another 10 billion US dollars for NASA to develop and demonstrate the two landers with uncrewed and crewed moon landings for each. Basically what NASA's original plan was, but now they're gonna get the funding for it. Cantwell also stated that even if Congress were to pass the bill and the president were to sign it into law, Congress would still actually need to allocate that $10 billion, which is more than a 10% boost to NASA's annual budget. Historically, even if Congress were to defy all recent precedent and significantly boost NASA's 2022 budget, there's no guarantee that that raise would be upheld for four or more years, which it would need to be for the authorization bill to be anything more than just a hollow promise. Each Congress is its own Congress, and no Congress can guarantee anything of the next Congress would do. But at least it's something. It's exciting for all of us SpaceX fans is that there was also a clause added into the amendment that, and I quote, NASA is not allowed to modify, terminate, or rescind SpaceX's HLS contract to comply with the amendment. Also, NASA has been given 60 days instead of 30 days to select a second lunar lander option. So this is great news for SpaceX, but they're not just out of the woods yet. Because Blue Origin and Dynetics filled protests with the Government Accountability Office, they will have to wait until the GAO makes their final decision before all this mess can settle and they can focus on just going to the moon and Mars. Blue Origin's national team seems pretty confident NASA will select them, having released a statement basically saying they are sure that they would be the recipient uh, with the bill when it comes into law and they're happy with this new bill. Now Bernie Sanders is getting involved in the HLS space race. Senator Sanders just yesterday submitted an amendment to the Endless Frontier Act, that same act we were just talking about. His amendment states its purpose is to, and I quote, eliminate the multi-billion dollar Bezos bailout. Senator Sanders has never really liked Jeff Bezos and Amazon having released a bill in 2018 even called Stop Bezos. So now the Endless Frontier Act is a bit of a mess and we'll just have to see where it goes. Make sure to follow us over on Twitter at, at TLPN underscore official to never miss news as it happens. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to engage that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss more from TLP News. This is Zach with TLP News signing off.